car makers and auto parts manufacturers from around the world are stepping up efforts to build hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, which are expected to have a major role to play in initiatives to cut global emissions. They include the French auto parts giant Ferricia. Just this April, the company completed its acquisition of a hydrogen storage tank maker in Shenyang to expand its hydrogen transport business here in China. As this is the company's first CIIE since the acquisition, Ferricia is showcasing its most advanced hydrogen storage technologies. In China, we use the so-called Type 3 uh, hydrogen tanks. This means that there is a metal liner inside the, inside the tank. <coughs> and this, obviously, is 100% uh, uh, produced and delivered out of this plant in Shenyang. As well, again, from our European activities, has the technology of so-called Type 4. The Type 4 is with a plastic liner. The plastic liner is ob obviously a bit lighter than the metal uh, liner, but we for SCR are bringing all of these technologies on the market here in China. More than 10 provinces and cities have released plans for the development of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. The government has set a goal of having 1 million hydrogen fueled cars on the road by 2030. Some local firms getting into the business are busy at the CIIE lining up market opportunities. This Shanghai-based hydrogen fuel battery developer is showcasing its 130 kilowatt hydrogen fuel system. China's Yangtze River Delta region especially has very strong manufacturing capability. And this advantage can help us better expand in our overseas markets. We have an operation in Vancouver for the Europe and North America market. It has good fundamentals in fuel cell batteries, especially on the material side, which can better support our R&D in Shanghai. The high participation of companies specializing in the development of green transport solutions and facilities has demonstrated the sector's resolve to reduce carbon emissions, echoing China's commitment to achieve peak carbon dioxide emissions by 2030 and carbon neutrality before 2060. And this year, the CIIE has even opened a special subsection for low carbon energy and environmental technology. Covering more than 11,000 square meters, the subsection has attracted almost 50 leading industry players. They include Honeywell, which will show off its latest green technologies and solutions in the aviation area at the expo this year. The company is demonstrating its latest technology in the maximization of sustainable aviation fuel. A lot of the local developers of you know, potential partners with us are thinking about investing in the areas that are not only for the China market. They're also thinking about how to export, as you know, the, you know, the aviation con, you know, industry is very internationalized. And uh, they have to, they need that kind of fuel, not only inside China, but also they need to get it refueled in the places they fly to, or the flights into that destination. China has made reducing energy consumption per unit of GDP by about 3%, one of its main targets of this year. The country plans to cut energy consumption per unit of GDP by 13.5% and carbon dioxide emissions by 18% during the current five-year plan. A lot of the work on that has been done by companies right here, and they're talking right now about how to do more. Zhang Shuxuan, Money Talks.